the condition of it? Like, is there something wrong with the plug? You bet. You bet. And so there's a lot of different things, and we're going to touch on that. What insurance is mandatory and why? What can you do to keep your insurance rates reasonable? We're going to look at that. And what do you do if you're involved in a crash? Any of you ever been in a car that crashed? It's not fun, is it? No, I, I know that. Last year at the State Fair, I was going through a green light. Two cars went through the green light before me. I'm going through the green light, and all of a sudden I got broadsided and totaled out the car. So crashes are not fun, and they happen sometimes. And we're going to go through that. So let's look at choosing a vehicle, types of vehicle. You know, when you're 16 years old, how many of you think you're going to have a mom or dad helping you buy the vehicle? Is it going to? Probably. And, and so as they're looking at the vehicle with you, I hope they don't make the same mistake I made when my daughter wanted her first car. You know, how many of you girls are dad's princess? You princess? You don't want to admit it to the guys here, but my daughter said, I want that car, daddy. And I looked at her and I thought, okay. It was a, <laughs> it was a Dodge Stealth, red. It was a power car. And I didn't realize until after I bought it how expensive the insurance was going to be. So I've learned a lot since then. We all make mistakes, right? She actually got stopped one time by a police and just wanted to tell her, that's a nice car. <laughs> Boy, I yeah, tell you. Yeah, sure. So types of, types of vehicles. You can buy subcompacts, compacts, intermediate cars, SUVs, trucks. Motorcycles I mean there's lots of different types of vehicles you can buy, but you want to look. What do you want? Are you looking for good gas mileage? Are you looking for one that's going to be good on insurance? New versus used. If you buy a new car, you're probably going to need a coal signer because you're not having enough credit history to where you get the loan. And we'll talk about that. And then you want to check, which I did not do, insurance rates because it can really make a big difference cash or loan if you have a loan you're going to be paying interest as well and so you just want to really understand what you're buying you guys probably aren't going to be doing a lease until you're out of college you get a really nice car you've got to still put down a down payment make payments and keep the vehicle up and when you're all done using it, you give it back. So you get to drive a, a good car. So again, all of these things we're going to be looking at. So insurance required by the law. In Minnesota, they require that you have liability insurance. What is liability insurance? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it covers the damage to others when you are at fault. So strictly property damage and bodily losses. This protects drivers from claims made. If you hit a car, it protects you from claims made against you. And this is probably the most important insurance you could have because you can have a huge financial loss if you did not have insurance and a lot worse you could be arrested you could have your car taken away lose the registration there's a lot and we'll talk about it no fault insurance covers your medical no matter what if it's your fault and that's really a good thing because let's say you do get hurt you don't have to go to litigation and fight an insurance company so that you get medical coverage it's going to cover it for you that's what no fault insurance is and those two are mandatory in the state of Minnesota. As an owner, they have to insure their vehicle. You guys, being 16 and under 18, it's your parents or your guardians that are responsible to make sure that you have insurance. But it's important that you understand insurance 
because there's a lot of decisions that you could make as the driver of the car that could really hurt you in the long run. And we'll talk about that. But drivers must make sure that the car they are driving is insured and you need to have the proof of insurance in the car with valid dates on it. If you go take your test for your driver's license and you pull out your insurance card and it doesn't have valid dates on, you got to reschedule your test. They won't even let you take it. So violation could result in arrest, vehicle tow, loss of vehicle registration, loss of license. So let's look at some insurance terms. Liability is mandatory in Minnesota. What is liability again? Who can tell me? Liability insurance covers the other car and bodily. No fault. Mandatory in Minnesota covers your medical. Collision. Now this is optional. It covers the damage to the vehicle that caused the accident as well. So if you purchase collision insurance, that will cover your vehicle regardless of who is at fault. It also covers anonymous vehicle damage in the parking lot. Comprehensive, that's another one that you don't have to have, but it's good to have. It covers damage to the vehicle caused by anything else. How many of you have ever been in a major hailstorm? Hailstorm can really mess up a car. How many of you uh, have ever seen a, a vehicle that had a tree fall on it? I mean, all of those things, your comprehensive covers, tornadoes, hailstorms, um, anything, volcanoes, you, you just think of it, it will cover it. Flood, everything, windstorms. Premium. That's another term that they use. The premium is what you pay for your insurance. So you buy a car, but you still have to buy insurance. You still have to do upkeep. There's a lot of expense to a car. So you want to make sure that you get the insurance that you and your guardian thinks is important for you and uh, get the right insurance for, for you. So premium is what insurance payment is called and some companies let you pay monthly. Other companies say you've got to pay once every six months. So deductible. Most policies carry a deductible. And depending upon how high your deductible is will be how much you pay for your insurance. Some insurances have a $100 deductible, some 500 some even 1000 that if you have an accident, you would pay, have to pay that hundred or that five hundred or that thousand before the insurance would kick in. And then insurance cards. As soon as you've got insurance, you're going to be issued an insurance card with your name, the owner's name on it, and all of the information with the dates of the insurance, and you have to carry that card in your vehicle at all times. Some of your insurance that you buy already has towing included in it. And, and you need to know if it does. If you don't have it and you want towing, you need to get into like a AAA or any of these other clubs that, that pay for your towing. Because otherwise, you've got a pretty huge bill on that. So what kind of insurance would you need for a, a cactus falling on your car. Comprehensive. Right, comprehensive. And it covers any type of damage not caused by a, another vehicle. So let's do a insurance quiz here. What is required in Minnesota? Boy, I don't know who said, who said it first. You can fool me. There you go. All right. What insured car or driver with those insurance what's insured car or driver driver no it, not driver 
it's it's the, the car boy so what's insured the car not the driver what does it matter what's insured you need to know what your policy covers and decide if that's enough for you or if you're going to add on to uh to that so it matters how about this if you loan your car out to a friend how many of you got some good friends that you might trust to drive your car well you want to really make sure you want to do that because if your friend gets in an accident who's at fault you your insurance is going to pay for those damages but that's not all your insurance rates are going to go from being pretty economical to a very high insurance rate not just for a year but for three years and that could cost you thousands of dollars in three years so do you really want to maybe let your friends drive your car you want to be really careful if you do because you are responsible so what determines the cost of insurance yeah make a model of the car you bet if it's a, a sport car or a SUV or a larger car it's going to be more expensive it could cost more if you have an older car um, it's not going to cost as much to repair so what else make a model yeah the driver's record the driver's record that's huge if you've got a ticket at 16 years old you're going to be surprised at what your insurance does mm -hmm. and how high it goes up but how about age did you know that a, a 16 year old is higher at risk than a 45 year old or a 35 or a 25 year old so the younger you are the more your insurance is going to be so type of cost type of insurance if your family has more than one car insured by the insurance company you can get a multi-car discount if you've got a security system in your car that is going to make your insurance a little bit lower extras make your insurance higher if you put on spoiler wheels if you put in a really incredible uh, sound system your car might be stolen easier but that's going to add uh, insurance your vehicle usage how much do you drive a car do you live in an urban area urban areas they drive farther their insurance costs more so the mileage and the usage is, is really important we talked about age gender so who do you think pays a higher insurance boys or girls why is that so who who has the most accidents boys or girls boys. actually the girls do girls have more accidents than the boys but their accidents aren't as bad it's usually like they bump into a garage or a tree or just something little where guys are a little bit more aggressive and have much more serious accidents and that's why gender is taken into account so driving records we talked about that it is really important to know that a driving record crashes tickets are going to really skyrocket your, uh, your insurance costs and financial responsibility that's kind of an insurance company's term on what your credit is if you've got a good credit rating your insurance is going to be better bad credit gives bad insurance ratings as well they feel you're not as good of a risk so so make sure that you know so for teens a young driver if you complete a safety program and you are on the a and b honor roll do you think that can help your insurance yes. it's like 60 percent more economical if you get good grades and if you take a safety program so good grades study it's so important 
Let's go on. So we're going to look at how vehicle costs affect premiums. And this car that we're going to look at is a 2014 Ford Focus worth about $14,000. And everything is going to show the cost of insurance um, rates as they go up. So what I want you to realize is this right here assumes that you went through the safety program and that you've got multiple line discounts for these prices here. So this is the best it's going to get for you. $1,740 for the male, $1,220 for the female. And that's for one year. If you go up to a higher price car, it goes up to $1,988 for the male, $1,431 for the female. It's not really too much more for a little bit nicer car. And even a 2016 BMW, a $40,000 car, it goes up $500 for the male, and it goes up like $400 for the female, which is not too bad for such a nice car. So how does age affect premiums? The coverage, you've got 100,000, that's 100,000 per person, medical, up to $300,000 for the whole, uh, everybody in the car, and $100,000 property damage with a $500 deductible. So base annual premium, 16 years old, 1740, 1220 for a female. Once you turn 24, look how much it goes down. That's a lot of money over the years. 824 for the female, 995, and at 35 years old, guys, you can smile. It finally evens out. The girls are not given the break. You guys are about the same. So age makes a huge difference. So how does driving record affect? This is pretty incredible. First of all, these car rates, um, our standby are used again for the 2014 Ford Focus with the 100, 300, and 100,000 and a $500 deductible. And the base premium before anything happens is right here. So before you get the good student and safety program, if you're a boy at 16, it's 2,436. Look how much grades make a difference in taking that one safety program. It's down to 1740 a year. Girls, 1708 down to 1220. Here's where you really want to make sure that you are following what you're learning here at Safeway. You want to drive safe. After a speeding ticket, your if you've got the good student, it goes from 1740 to 2200. And that is not just for one year, that's for three years. So that adds up. And if you're a girl, it goes from 1200 up to 1898. So you're looking at about $600 increase there for the girls over three years. That's $1,800 extra that you're paying because you got a speeding ticket. And if you get a speeding ticket and an at-fault crash, look at what it does. If you've got the good discount, 1740 guys it goes up to $4,000 and girls it goes up to $3,200. Is it worth speeding? It really is not because if you get a ticket that's what's going to happen. Let's talk about a uh, fuel economy. You know gas is expensive when you look at it. So accelerate slowly and steadily. When you're at a complete stop and you start, the vehicle uses the most gas. And if you give it that gas and you're just going like you're on an Indy 500 race car, your gas is just kind of being sucked out of the gas tank and your cost is going to go way up. Maintain a constant speed. We're going to talk about all these. Drive the speed limit. Anticipate flow of traffic. So what that is, is let's say you're coming up to a stop sign and all of a sudden 
you see it turn red, well, take your foot off the gas and make sure that you just kind of coast and slow down. And you might not even have to stop. So anticipate the traffic flow. Remove attachments. The attachments that are on your car really can add a lot onto uh, your, your gas usage, about 3% more usage with attachments. Keep your tires inflated. Make sure your windows are shut when you're on the highway and maintain your vehicle. And of course, buy a fuel efficient car. So, let's look at this. This is just what we talked about. Sensible and economical driving. Let's say your car gets 30 miles to the gallon. It's 250 a gallon. If you're an aggressive driver, it decreases your miles per hour or mileage per gallon down six miles. That's a huge difference. It raises the, raises the cost up to 313. So you can either look at it as you're getting less miles per gallon, or if you look at the cost, you're seeing how much more you're paying. An extra 63 cents a gallon. If you go 10 miles over the speed limit, it takes away another 3.3 miles or adds 50 cents onto the cost of your gasoline. Underinflated tires, 0.8%. It's another 15 cents. And when you get down to, if your engine's not tuned, it takes off another mile. You're paying $4.01 a gallon, or you're only getting 18.7 miles. That's huge, isn't it? When you look at it that way, so you want to really do sensible driving and you want to 